Hello there, this is Sean Lawson here from Arbutus RV in sunny Port Alberni at one of our five Arbutus RV locations here on Vancouver Island. Today I've got a walkthrough video on the 247 Transcend by Grand Design. It's the Transcend Explore and this is just a great looking RV. Tons of awesome features. Can't wait to get inside this trailer and show some more of them off to you. But here's a quick look at the exterior. Now the uh, exterior aluminum siding on this trailer is 25% thicker than the competition, um, making it just that much stronger, adding to its R value, making it a little bit better for colder climates. There's also an enclosed underbelly, astrofoil running from the front cap all the way through to the, uh, over the roof and down the back wall. Fiberglass insulation with wood framing, very well put together. They use what they call quad seals. So there's heavy duty seals at all the major corners and sides of this trailer. And uh, just tons of, of great things to talk about on these, these products. Nice looking trailer as well. There's the interior of the front storage. Around the other side, which we'll get to here, um, is where you will find all of your water, battery disconnect, cable, and all that sort of stuff in one spot. And there's a little pass through for your cords and hoses there as well. You've got solar prep as well, right on the side. Uh, this has also got a propane hookup. So you can connect a barbecue, a lamp, fire pit, whatever you, have as an outdoor appliance that needs propane and it will run off of your front propane tanks. 220 pounders up front there. Go head up the aluminum steps and get inside. Again, this is a 247 model. It's a non-slide trailer, but is really, really nice and open. Quite a large open floor plan for something without a slide. Awesome looking live edge table there that folds down into a bed as well. You've got some cabinets next to your TV there. The TV will pop out and swivel and you can lounge on your couch straight across from it. That couch folds into a bed as well. We'll get that down in just a moment to show you. You've got windows at both levels, lights as well. Teddy bear mattresses, very soft and cozy mattresses. Love how they angle the cabinets there. So they just put it away, put them out of the way a little bit for the people sitting at the couch, not feeling like you're right below a big bank of cabinets when you're sitting there. Couple of hooks for hanging towels, awesome shower surround, venting in there as well. So your furnace is plumbed in. You've got linen storage up the side, skylight above the shower, nice corner mounted cabinetry. I like how they finished off the front there with that curved piece of wood as well. All right, so let's pan forward now into the kitchen and bedroom area. While we're taking a look there, I'm just gonna fold this couch forward so you'll get to see what sort of time it takes to get that down into a bed. And there we go. We've now got a bed set up so you can sleep Oh, I'm sure eight to 10 people comfortably in this trailer. Lots of cabinetry there, nice accent on the fridge. It's a six cubic foot Norcold fridge. Nice 22 inch oven. There's your microwave up top, oven below. Tons of cabinetry around there as well. Let's take a quick shot here at some shoe storage, hats, gloves, all that kind of stuff can go right there. Cutlery as well, because you're right next to your kitchen. Got a stainless steel sink with a nice residential looking faucet. A Little bit of room there as well to put your, your soaps and scrub brushes and that sort of thing. Light switch on the wall, some more hangers there. You've got a sliding door here that slides the bedroom area closed. Storage below those closet hanging areas there, power outlets. You've got USB outlets as well. 
on the one side here. And uh, this bed actually lifts up too, so you can store quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, with the front cap here on this trailer uh, not being laid really aggressively low, uh, the interior of it uh, sits in a position that you could actually sit up nicely with some pillows behind your back and read a book. Some room at the end of the bed there as well for getting around. Quite a bit actually, so you can walk around this comfortably. None of the venting for your furnace is on the floor, so you're not going to be tracking dirt into your vents and then blowing them up into the trailer when you turn your furnace on. Tons of great features. This is a lightweight trailer, half ton towable. Love the live edge. And as always, five nights, four days at Pacific Playgrounds, compliments of Arbutus RV with every purchase. So this has been the Grand Design Imagine Explore 247. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information, please give us a call. Have a wonderful day.